Hi, uh, my name is Mads and I'm here today to talk about where I work and uh, I'm going to go on to talk about a project proposal that I've come up with, something I can change in my workplace. Um, currently I work part time at Mary Morgan's, an uh, upcoming company, already known all over the UK. And only after a few years, it will now be going to be with their branches. I've been only been there three months. Um, personally, there's things that I've picked up on that I would uh, change and that can be done differently. Uh, because retail management is the area that I hope to go into when I first started my job, my dad told me that everything you do with work, look at it from a manager's perspective. Because if you want to be a manager yourself that day, uh, later on in that. And uh, from looking at it at a manager's uh, perspective, you pick up on little things and things that can be changed within the workplace. Currently, I'm a shop floor worker, but I'm hoping to progress onto admin work. And just for experience, I'm going to undergo some supervisor training. And uh, once I get my degree, undergo a management training scheme and hope to become a retail manager. The reason I've chosen to talk about this company is because of the work there and I've learned, I've learned everything about what goes on in the company. It's a new re retail home store and it's already causing big problems for other companies. And because it's not such a big company itself, there's a lot of areas for improvement and things that can be done differently. Um, there's a few ideas for improvement, but the main three would be um, when I first started working at BM, they hired me to be a shop floor worker and a tin worker. But currently, since I've been there for the past three months, I've always been working on shop floor. I haven't been called on to till, so if I am, I'm not getting called on to till, I'm not picking up any experience. Um, the second one is there's always a big issue with break times. All the lads prefer to take their breaks together, all the girls prefer to take their breaks together. And that leaves more or less sometimes no one on the shop floor, and on the weekend we have a busy day. There's always customers that need help. And if all the lads from the shop floor are sat upstairs. The till workers are calling them on the tannoy, but they won't come down because they're on their break. And till staff aren't allowed to leave their tills because of how busy it is. And this is a very big problem that needs changing. Uh, the third is that there's no toilets for customers to use um, because they've got a small toilet there, which is next door to the training room. And within the training room, we have all the stock. So like if someone ordered a bed, you'd have to go into the training room and get it out for them. So this is why they don't let anyone use toilets unless it's a woman and she's pregnant or it's a little kid and they're probably gonna put it in their pants. So you'll have another staff member that sometimes will take the lady upstairs to the toilets and supervise them. But there's definitely needing toilets for the people. The idea I've chosen to go into more detail about and talk about how it all changes. The issue of everyone taking the breaks at wrong times, leaving the shop floor in chaos, and leaving the till staff under pressure when they're not allowed to use the tills. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't choose me not being called on to tills as my preferred topic because there isn't much you can do about it as there is enough till workers and less shop floor workers, and there's more to be done on the shop floor and more experience to be gained. Um, the idea of there not being toilets cannot be changed easily. As it's a long process, you'd have to appeal to head office and I don't know, it would take years and you'd have to close the store, reorganise, refurbish, and that's moving our business. The reason I have decided to talk about the people taking breaks at the wrong time is because I've been there three months and every weekend on a Saturday when I've gone into work, because I've just come in. I'll be the only person on shop floor and all the workers will be upstairs when they break. And if there's three or four customers needing help at once and you're the only worker, it can become a lot pressurizing and <clears throat> you get asked to do a lot and customers aren't satisfied if you're not helping them correctly and quickly. Benefits of <clears throat> sorting this out and coming up with a break, proper break, the break road that all the workers will have to follow is there won't be any arguing from management and normal workers. Shop floor will stay occupied, till staff will be happy, getting the help we need. Customers will be smiling, which is what we are required to do anyway. The information that would be required for me to bring an end 
to this problem and work on the idea would be I need a copy of everyone's work water. Also, I need a copy of all the hours people are working and the list of names that on a Monday, who's going to work on a Monday, who works on a Tuesday, so you can come up with a water and when decide who's going to break when. To my literature review, the only resources needed in this project for me would be water copies, list of every worker's hours, list of names. This will probably take up a lot of paper as we have many employees, so a resource will definitely be paper, a photocopy and a printer. Um, the manager's approval will also be something I need um, <clears throat> because without the manager's permission, you can't do nothing. And the manager would have to get the workers together and explain what is happening and why it's happening. The methodology using my project will be simple. I'll come up with a new create a break water, stating exactly who will take what break at what time and who will take the break and lunch together. We're leaving no longer than two people upstairs at a time, which means there'll always be someone on shop floor. This will avoid bad customer service or tension between workers and management. The raw will state your name and how many breaks you're entitled to with the chosen time. It'll only state if there's any issues taking this raw into account, then management will have the every meeting and face consequences if you don't follow this. Problems with this could be workers can complain saying they want to take breaks together because a lot of the lads at work bring food together and they like to share. So if they're going on separate breaks, some of them might not have food to eat or whatever and it's going to become a problem. Um, here's my grant chart of my eight weeks and what I hope to get done and how I'm going to do it. And that's about it. Thank you for listening.